Hey Sneak Peekers, this is Nelson Jimenez. And I'm Jillian Malone, and we're here at the ATX Television Festival for the Gilmore Girls Reunion. Be very excited, because coming up we have interviews with the cast and crew. Honoring, you know, such a great show that lasted so long. How did this show really help lay the foundation for your career? Oh, geez, I don't. I well, it was an amazing training ground for me. I mean, this was sort of my first big job, and it was the it was the job that that went on for a really long time, which was so great. And it really helped me, I guess, become more confident in being a person in the world, which I'm not that great at. Um, so in that way, I guess it was a really great boot camp. I mean, it was such a uh, a test of endurance and memory. So I feel like after being on this show, I felt like I could, I was well prepared to do other things. So you know, this is all about reunions and getting back together. And I've got to ask, what was your favorite memory from filming? Well, I love shooting the scene where. Uh, Par uh, Paris had just broken up with me and I was drunk at the bar with Rory and we were both drunk and she was lamenting Logan and I was lamenting Paris and we were just this kind of drunken mess and I kind of hit on her in a weird way and that scene was that scene was really uh, that scene was yeah well not the hitting on her part just the whole scene was really fun the second episode I ever did they gave me a page and a half monologue and I had never seen a page and a half monologue in a TV script and I was so flattered that they trusted me with all this dialogue and I just wanted to nail it for them and I remember getting through most of the takes you know without dropping a line and I remember being like that was pretty good I was pretty proud of that yeah we have been going through every single episode and I've got to know which one is your favorite of all time Let's pick one episode one episode no it looked like oh, it was such a beautiful snow. The whole center of the town was, I, w I wanted to be back. I was burning up. It was Burbank in August. I don't know. But it's the snow scene. That there was an episode in season five. I called Amy and I said, this is the most beautiful episode you've ever written. And But I'm trying to remember, I think it's when Kelly and Ed were uh, remarrying or something. There was something, the renewing their vault. Yes. Yeah, I forgot, but it was a beautiful episode. I remember, but it's yes, vague. It was a big but I remember it was beautiful. Yes, Miss Patty wasn't invited. No? No. Uh, for me, I think it was uh, Rory's birthday party. Uh, because it was when Emily gets back into the car and she looks at Richard and she says, we don't know her at all. I, it just gives me chills of that that realization that she had. And I think that was just a very wonderful moment and poignant for for the whole show. What do you guys miss most about filming? The the script, the uh, the other actors, the family, feeling of the family. Yeah. We all liked each other. Yeah. And so we liked. I we all, I I love going to work, and I know I know I, I'm looking forward to seeing everybody yeah. at. Uh, all yeah. the time. It wasn't work, you know. No. I talked to somebody the other day. It was like that part was that part was fun, you know. It wasn't going to work. The work was getting the job and then once we got it, it wasn't work anymore. What are your favorite memories from filming? You know, so many of them happened in the beginning when I first came on the show because it was my first big job, my first kind of uh, personally and professionally, it was, it was a huge change for me. So those first kind of episodes that I was in, like You Jump, I Jump Jack, and uh, Wedding Bell Blues, and that first season for me, which was season five, are, are kind of layered with all these beginning memories of being an actor and getting that first big job. If you had to pick only, only one out of all of the episodes, which would be your ultimate favorite? I think for the Rory Logan relationship, um, you would have to go with Wedding Bell Blues because it, it kind of starts that relationship where they, they, they have a scene together where they're dancing and they're kind of establishing the beginnings of that relationship and that uh, and that's uh, for me, of course, that Logan Rory relationship is special. So I'd say if you had to watch one episode, it'd be that one. Team Logan all the way, right? You know, I, I, Amy Sherman Palladino said something recently that I, I really liked is that the, the right boyfriend came at the right time. So whether it be Dean in the beginning or Jess or, or Logan, I think they all came at the right time for her. Hey, Hello. I'm Todd. Hook Hi, Hook'em Horse. What I is like your favorite episode? 
from this series? I'm trying to think the one I was in the most. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's scrolling through. Yeah, I, well, I would we, say the wedding, the wedding episode. The wedding episode. I don't, I don't remember the title of it, but for me, it's oh. fe Festival of Living Art. Oh, oh that was a good. That was I, a think good I mean, it was just like the most yeah. artful. Yeah. yeah, it was a good. They won Emmys for that. Yeah. Hair and makeup. Yeah. Hair and makeup. Yeah, they won it, uh, and deservedly so. It was an amazing episode. Yeah. And do you guys have any advice for any UT students who want to go into the industry? Do yeah. your due diligence. Uh, make sure this is what you want to do, and uh, if you believe in yourself, it's going to work. It's going to pay off. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's like I, I really do think the entertainment industry is like any other industry. It takes a very long time. Yeah. I think a lot of people imagine that it's an overnight thing, but just like a doctor or a lawyer, you got to spend many, yeah. many, many years working. That's a good your way analogy. Out. Yeah. Yeah. And I always say, like along the same uh, lines, is that. Um, we're all addicts. I mean, any of these artistic people that you see, they're all addicts. They, they, they had a moment where it felt better than anything uh, ever. <laughs> and that's why we do it. And if that's you, then I can't, nobody can tell you whether to do it or not do it, because you have to do it because that's just the way that you are. Because like, like they said, there, there are gonna be so many downs that it's the love of what you do that's going to always carry you through. For me, it was my first job in LA. I actually moved to LA from Florida a week before. So um, every moment of the show was a miracle for me. And I just, I did my best to look around me and, and just constantly be learning. I wanted to learn from Alexis and from Lauren and from the guys. And I mean, it helped, they were all so nice. So they really welcomed me and I felt like camaraderie with them. But really the most important thing for me was just like learning Learn what you can, learn what you can. This is your foundation for being on set in LA in your career. Uh, is Who is the person that you most are excited to see tonight? I mean, for me, it's all, I mean, I can't pick one, you know, but for me, it's, you know, it's always, it's always uh, Amy and Dan, you know, the kind of heartbeat, the original heartbeat of, of the show, the, the people that brought all of us together, you know, through an inception of an idea. Um, but then again, like, there's a lot of people I haven't seen in years. Like, I haven't seen Jared in a long time, I haven't seen, Alexis had lunch with Scott like two years ago, you know, so just kind of getting a chance to bump into everybody. It's been, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. Awesome. And looking back at your years with Gilmore Girls, um, what would you say it has been the most um, rewarding part of the experience for you? Um, the most rewarding part? Oh, God. I, I mean, it, it kind of felt like being in school, you know. I was young enough that, that I still needed, that I had a lot to learn, but old enough to where like I'd been on a bunch of sets. So I think for me it was just... It was, you know, learning a speed and a cadence, but also still, you know, bringing honesty to a character, even though you have fractions of a moment to, to perform it in, you know, because there's so much, so much work to do in a television day. I'll tell you my favorite thing just about that whole job, besides having fantastic writing, because that is what good television is good writing, straight out. Uh, I, it was so nice to be able to do a character episode after episode, year after year, and play the same character and have her do different things. Because then she grew not only for the to the outside for the audience, but she grew for me. I, I found more things with her. And most actors don't get a chance to do that. They either do a play where they do it repeating themselves absolutely, or they're not working. You know? So. That's what made the show so special, the characters grow throughout the show, right? They did. They absolutely did. And, and they grew beautifully. You know, it always made sense which was really great. It's just the camaraderie with the cast. It's the friendships you take away. You know, that's really always the most valuable and the best part of this business is the people that you meet and the friendships that you maintain. So that that's really it. And it's and it's just, you know, just loving these people and 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 having all these great friendships with Amy and Dan and Lauren and and the entire cast. It's just it's just a huge cast of just great people. So it's it's very satisfying. It's like a second family.